Hey guys, Spreader here. Welcome to Fishing North Atlantic. Now, I've started to play this game about um, a week or so before it's actually out and released to the public. So, huge thank you to Ollie for sending me through a key. Um, Ollie is from, let me just quickly have a look, is from Plan of Attack. So, he sent me through a key to check this game out early. So, it's still in beta testing mode at the moment, but obviously, it will be out. Um, for you guys to play as you guys see this recording. So if you haven't seen it yet, head on over to Steam, search for Fishing North Atlantic and pick it up or add it to your wish list to make sure um, you don't forget it. You can pick it up later, obviously when the funds permit. So we're going to start a new game. Uh, character name is obviously Brito, that's me, male. We're going to start with a tutorial. We can fast travel and we'll get the fish gear helper as well, just to make sure we're you know, doing the right thing. Port Patrol I'll leave off for now. I have tested the game a little bit, and um, you do get fined if you speak too much, so... Alright, so welcome to Nova Scotia. You begin your career with a small harpoon boat that you have inherited from your uncle. With such humble beginnings, it will be a long road to becoming one of the legendary mariners of the North Atlantic. Swordfish are best caught from August to October. All fish species in the game can only be fished within its seasons. Please check the in-game wiki to learn more about their seasons. But let us not get distracted with the dreams of fortune and glory. Let's start with the basics. So W, S, A, D, obviously our keys to move. Uh, v is for our view. We change our view, hold F, stop driving, and then we can move around the deck, of course. Uh, move to the wheelhouse and use E to open it. Move to the ladder and use E to go up to the mast. Um, use E on the wheel to start driving from the mast. But this obviously allows us to be able to see a little bit better, I guess. This is the map interface, you can open this by pressing the M key. Using the buttons below you can set custom waypoints to plot a route. Or you can select locations that you've previously visited and then fast travel to these locations. You can either drive to the marked area yourself or if you want you can plot a route and fast travel there automatically. Alright, awesome. So, this map is quite big. It is huge. It's really good, down to 4000 meters in depth. Alright, so we're down here and they want us to head over to here. So now with this, we can't actually click on one of these and see where, you know, like the redfish are, or the tuna is, or the snow crab. We've actually got to find it ourselves. So let's head to here. I'm going to put a swordfish there because we know that swordfish have been spotted there. But let's return, go downstairs, and use E to move on to the bow sprint. Go to the working deck, we'll go back inside and shut the door. Uh, go to front. Alright. Okay, so now we've got the harpoon in our hand. That's pretty cool. Move to the front. Aim towards the swordfish. Oh, we missed it. That was a terrible shot. Oh, look how close he is now. Right, let's throw it a little bit higher. Oh, there we go, we got him. Really in the swordfish by holding E. Be careful, the line might snap when they're struggling. You can see the colour of the line, which actually helps you a lot. That way you know that if you're drilling in too hard when they're struggling, potentially can snap the line, so... All, right, all I want to do is just going to keep pressing E here very, very lightly, just on and off, just to make sure he doesn't get away too far. Alright, there we go. Catch a few more swordfish if you want, then press E on the hatch to stop harpooning. I think we'll catch a few more. Um, this guy there, a little bit above his head. Oh, how did we miss that? He was right there. Oh, still missed. Okay, so obviously you can't use the right mouse too much. There we go, we got him. Really straight in. Keep an eye on that line. When it goes red, you know it's going to snap. When the sound of him swimming goes away, it seems like that's when you're going to have the best chance of actually reeling him in. Alright, those guys are going to come back around. Let's catch all these guys and we'll see how we go. Actually slows down time too, which is good. Oh, he's coming towards us. Just missed him. Ah, oh, we should have waited. 
St stop being so impatient. There we go, got him. Oh, he's going to struggle. Oh, there we go. Once that sound goes away, you know you can reel in pretty hard. Come on, let's get him. Ah, oh, he's going to swim away a little bit. I'm going to have to let him go out a little bit. Keep pressing the E ever so gently just to stop him from getting away too far. Come on, get him. There we go. Where's these other guys? Oh, they're coming. Let's see where they go. Two more to get. Big ship in the background there. Where'd they go? They go on under the... Oh, there they are. How yeah, did I miss that? He's right there. What a great harpoon, am I? Oh, we got one. Right, keep an eye on that line. You don't want it to snap. I don't know if we'll lose the harpoon. Oh, that's really mean. He's still trying to get away, but he's not thrashing about as much. There we go. Beautiful. Let's keep an eye on this guy. Where is he going to go? Oh, still missed him. He's right there. Oh, wow. Shows how good of a fisherman I am. I should stick to me farm simulator, I think. Now where is he? Oh, there he is. Come on, buddy. Nothing going on here. Your friends are just gone for a little picnic. Come on back. Right, interesting. This is the boat's actually moving, which is good. Come on, buddy. Don't want to throw the harpoon when he's too far away, because I've always too close, I guess, because I'm struggling to hit the bloody thing. Right, here he goes, he's coming towards us. Right, a bit above his head, about there. Got him. Right. Really, man, just a little bit at a time. Stop that line from snapping. Stop him from getting away. Hold E. Come on, let's get him. Let's get him, he's right there. There we go. I think that's all of them. Right, that's good to see. Let's go into here, go to the cabin. Alright, head to the marked port. Will you be able to sell the fish? You've just collected a mission waypoint has been set on your map. Alright, so way up to there so we need to head to port all right let's uh let's fast travel a little bit just to save a little bit of time actually the boats are moving around too which is really good oh nearly hit him then i don't think he's very impressed with his horn going some hit ours okay so quick look through the cab we've got um our map or our sonar, which is good. We've got the time. We've got our little PDA uh, with a map, the wiki, finance, missions, etc. We've got here uh, radio, radio channels, our steering wheel, our speed, and our fuel level. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Obviously, how much catch we've got left. Let's um, slow down a little bit. There we go. Um, catch level. A few other things. Not sure what that is. That's obviously our speed. Got our light switches. So, searched light, running lights, uh, work lights, interior lights, and our phone for our workers, of course. And then, I think this one so we can call for help, which we don't need at the moment. Thank God. Alright. Um... Let's head in here and we can dock into Yarmouth. Alright, go to the bar in town to get tips on the best spots for fishing. Like to sell our fish? Yes, we would. There we go. Sawfish 4125. Wow, that's good. 72,000 bucks. Well, we'll definitely sell those. Wow, that's good. Alright, so we've got weather, skip time and map, fish market. So the shop, you can upgrade your gutting knife, binoculars and your hook. Um, 
fish prices. Here you can bait and buy your long lines. Towns, we can hire a crew. Borrow money from the bank, go to the bar to get tips and missions. Insurance and rescue services. Can we get insurance? Uh, if your boat sinks, she will not be reimbursed at all. 60%. For $6,000 for 35000 Really not worth it. Uh, rescue services. A little bit of free towing, closest port. Yeah, we shouldn't need that. Hopefully. And the dock. So here you can buy fuel, repair your boat, or change your name. You can buy various upgrades for our boat. You can buy, and s buy a new boat to sell old ones. You always need to own a boat to buy a new one and rigging as well. So we can go from harpooning to rigging for deep line fishing. Might change that. Um, let's go to the town and go to the bar. Let's go for some tips. Um, redfish from a week ago, swordfish from a week ago, tuna from a week ago. Right, missions, what do we have? Help deliver cargo to another port. Yeah, yeah, we don't want to do that right now. Um, crew. So for hire. Uh, what do we have? Port hauling, cooking, repairing, hand gutting, machine gutting, freezing, stacking, long line, net hauling, pot bait and setting, sorting crabs, crane operation and deep line. So that's what we're doing. We're doing deep line. So um, he's got better deep line at 1%. I don't really want to spend too much. 1.4. Rudy's a little bit less than that. Uh, 1.3 for Derek. So Pearl's pretty good at deep line. So Sadie Lewis though. Emma King. Uh, where's Pearl? I think Sadie's probably better to go with. Yeah, let's hire her. Why not? Pretty sure we need um, a person for our deep line. Let's go. Um, I'll go to fish market. We'll go shop. We don't need that. Fishing gear. So buy deep lines. I don't know how many we need. Okay, there we go. Left, drag left and right. Buy up to eight. Let's just get four. Buy. Um, bait deep lines. So that's for tuna. This is for. That's for tuna. That's for swordfish. So we'll go with swordfish for now. Right, there we go. Go back, back. Um, and then we'll return. Alright, sold the fish, complete mission tutorial, set deep line, we don't want to do that yet. Right, we've got four lines on the back though. So let's head out of here. Now you guys need to let me know if you want to see me drive to and from, you prefer me just to skip the whole driving thing. Um, obviously set waypoints and, and skip through it uh, like this okay so there's some swordfish there and now there's swordfish there I don't know if that swordfish is still going to be there because it's just the tutorial um, guess we'll go there and have a look um, okay yep that's lucky we nearly went straight into there so that tells us, I think that tells us a speed limit of 6 knots. I uh, can't see what it says. 6... I don't know, I can't really see what it says. We need the binoculars. Pretty sure it's 6 knots speed limit, that's what that means. Alright, let's um, fast travel to here. Uh, let's bring up our radar here. Where's our hide helper? Oh, here, here we go. Sadie Lewis, she, oh there you go, she can prepare gear. 
then she can haul. Right, let's go back to the sonar. Oh, there's, there is some swordfish there. I think, yeah, that's definitely swordfish, isn't it? So is that. Let's come to a complete stop. Now, okay, we can't set the deep line until she's actually... Yeah, it hasn't been prepared yet, so... Oh, there we go, we've actually got to click on that, so she'll prepare it. Okay, there we go, so we can go set. Set deep line baited with squid. Um, and then we need to... Do we need to go a bit further, or we just leave it there? I think we just leave it there. Right, so let her prepare another one. Go forward a little bit more. If you see another swordfish, we'll um, throw another one down. Okay, so I think we either need to be stopped or need to be going a little bit slower to be able to set the deep line. So if we're going too fast, let's see. Oh, it's still giving us the option to set it, so. So I'm turn around and head back and see if we can find another one on the sonar. I don't know how long to wait. That's the thing. I might have to check the wiki. I don't want to get too close to the other one, so we'll go full steam ahead for now. Um, can she? Okay, she won't prepare another one until the, that one's thrown in the water, so. Okay, within 100 metres of other fishing gear, that's why we can't set it, okay. Well, I haven't seen another one yet anyway, so. Travel east. Let's just set it set it there, I guess. Um, let's head north, I guess. If she's yeah, prepare. I want to try and set them all in a line. Like I don't know if we're actually going to catch anything, but who knows? So obviously it's on the map. It's actually still red, so we'll probably have to set it for a little while and leave it and then come back. Or does it change colour when something is caught? Might have to look into it. Right, let's throw that line. Hopefully we'll find something in the area. Right, set the deep line again. Right, now she can go back to resting. You can go back in and have a rest. So she'll go back down below deck. That's good. If we come into here and go uh, wiki, go fish types, we'll go um, swordfish. Swordfish are a highly migratory fish, ranging throughout the Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea. In Nova Scotia, the primary swordfish fishery uses pelagic long lines and extends from Georgia's and Brown's Bank along the entire edge of Sco the Scotian Shelf. Swordfish are also, har also harvested by harpoon along the edges of the Georgia's and Brown's Banks. Um, it dominates the Canadian swordfish fishery. We don't really need to read that. Um, Okay, that's just giving us a bit of info about it. Let's go fishing tools. We'll go deep line. Deep line fishing is similar to long line. The main difference is that deep line hooks are far deeper in the sea. Deep lines were developed with aim to catch bigger predatory fish like tuna and swordfish. 
and reduce bycatch as much as possible. Therefore, deep lines are considered much more sustainable than long lines. It can still happen that deep line attracts a shark or a stingray, which are usually able to free themselves from the line or are cut free by fishermen. Deep lines are equipped with a bite sensor and pulled up as soon as a fish gets hooked to increase the quality of the catch. Okay, so how to use. There's no video there yet, but that might come soon. Um, harpooning. Um, nothing else in there. Fish bait. We'll go squid. Squid is, uh, squid are cephalopods in the su super order decapodiforms with elongated bodies. Well, wow, there's some big words. Large eyes, eight arms, and two tentacles. They are mainly soft-bodied like octopuses but have a small internal skeleton. The squid can change colour for camouflage and signalling. The whole squid can be used to fish species such as swordfish and tuna. Okay, so I don't know what we're going to do with these. Um... That's our health and that's our weight. I think we'll just go back here and maybe wait a little bit. Maybe, I don't know, wait four hours or something. Doesn't actually tell us. It tells us how long it's been down there for, but. So is that the current? That's not the current time, is it? Uh, 1740. Yeah, it is actually. So 715. So what's that? About 10 seconds? Yeah, about 10 seconds per in-game minute. Which isn't too bad. Right, so there's our first one over there. Um, slow down and turn a little bit to our left. See um, how long we need to rest for. Alright, slow our speed right down. Alright, so I wonder if we get notified. Um, what does that say? I can't see what that says. Something sensor deep line or something? Maybe. Maybe if we drive towards it. Just sit next to it, see if it has anything else come up. Right, not too close obviously. Right, let's um Go outside and have a look. There's a boy there, another boy there, but it doesn't actually... See there's a sensor on it, but I wonder if it actually... ...changes colour or something once it's actually got um, a fish on it or something. I'll sit back down. Right, go map. I don't think we can pass time here, can we? Right, let's jump out of here. Let's go and save our career. Slot one. Right, go to the time. Skip forward. Let's go four hours. Um, look at the map. Doesn't actually say if it's got anything on it. I don't think I have a torch. Okay, it doesn't actually show us anything there, so... I don't know, to be honest. Let's, um... Trial and error. Skip another four hours. Oh, it doesn't say there's anything on there again. Doesn't look any different. Oh, let's skip through another four hours, which will mean it's been down there for what, over 12 hours, I guess. Yeah, 12 hours, so nothing there either. Right, skip through another four. Oh, there's a beep. What was that? Um, deep line bite. Okay, so lines one and two have got a bite. It's good. 
Let's go with our hired worker. She can haul. She finally gets out. Can't even see where she is. Come on, lady. Get out of here. What am I paying you for? to get back in inside the boy area. Right, let's go haul. Ooh, okay. Um, oh, is this me? Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. So that's one in. Oh, there's a few. That's interesting. Alright, we need the hut up so we can see. Perfect. Actually, this must be Sadie. Is it Sadie? 801 kilos. Alright, we can set the deep line, but we don't have... We don't actually have um, any more on board. So I wonder, is that her energy? I don't know what that green thing is. That might be her energy levels. Right, slow down again, we'll head towards this one. As you can see, swordfish in the back there, covered up. So I wonder if it brings us out of the sleep um, once we get a bite. There's actually two on here, which is good. Another perfect. Drag it on board. Kinda drags it weird though, doesn't it? Ah, that was any good, but better than nothing. You think they'd want to drag it in the other side, um, where the door is. Oh, only 324 kilos. That's not some big fish, but it's not too bad, I guess. All right, let's um jump out of the seat. Look at these. Look at these bad boys. So there's another message there. So we got. Um, thought it had a message. Actually, do we have to look at our PDA? Uh, journal, deep line bite, deep line bite, catch. We have the three catch. Oh, five swordfish. Two and two. Uh, gear. That's all set. Sails. Yep. Cool. So I wonder... Oh, that was the first one, wasn't it? So we got two and two. Two big ones and two baby ones. By the looks of that. Alright, let's line up next to this one. Watch out for this other boat. We're fishing over here, mate. Get out of it. Look at him go. Steaming on through our fishing area. Alright, there we go. X is what brings up the motor. It's so that same as um, Baron C. Let's skip through just one hour, see what happens. Uh, no bite. Both got bites, there we go. Alright, so two bites. Um, actually, I wonder if she's still... Oh, no, she's still waiting. We should probably should have set her back to rest, shouldn't we? Hopefully we get inside the buoy there, the area of the buoy. Oh. Can't set... Did I press R then? I think I pressed R instead of E. That doesn't help. Right, let's go E to haul. Is it two or three? There should only be two on there, I think. Ooh, they move around a little bit. Cheeky little buggers. Better off, maybe better off setting your mouse in one spot and um, hoping he comes to us. 608 kilos. Let's go and grab the next one. Info. Oh, she's idle at the moment. There we go. 
Hopefully her deep line skill will continue to go up. Right, what's our current? Uh, we're, uh, we're not far off being full, 1200 kilos. We get some bigger ones here, we'll be happier. Ooh, look at him go. Well, that was good as well. I'm okay with the goods. I certainly don't want to get a bad or a miss. You see it sways and then it sort of slows down. And we get a perfect. Beautiful. I wonder if that improves the quality of the catch or the size. Um, if we go four unbaited lines, uh, catch time. So swordfish two hours ago, 11 minutes ago. Gutting, all storage. I don't think we can do anything else with it, can we? Um, she can go back to resting. That's all we really need to do. Let's, um... Guess we can set and plot our course back to Yarmouth. Um... Okay, there we go. We can just fast travel is even easier. We don't have to actually watch it travel, which is awesome. Uh, let's actually... I want to get a... I want to get a screenshot here, but... I need something with the... Um, fish in the background. Let's go and grab a couple, a couple just in case. Let's go dock. Would you like to sell fish at Yarmouth? Yes. 3802, so it's a little bit lower than normal. It's going to give us 92,000. Boom. Now that's good. Um, so dock. So shipyard. The only other ships available at the moment is the Lenore. Uh, Lenore is a medium, so a mid-sized fishing boat that can be rigged for line, net, deep line, and lobster fishing. So no lobsters at the moment. Uh, the backstabber is rigged for harpoon and deep line fishing. Um... Max storage size is 12,000 kilos. Get two crew. I don't know why we'd need two crew. Um, what's the quota? Oh, 80,000? Instead of 50, which we've got at the moment. Um, Coast is a crab boast, boat based on the well-known crab boat called the Northwestern. Awesome. So that's six and a half million, and the Dexter is nearly 13 million, and that's obviously long line. Or should I say trawling boat? That is pretty cool though. So what do we have at the moment? Um, 6,000 we can go up to... Well, 3,000 can go up to 6,000 storage size. Quota per year total is 100,000. So 50,000 there, which isn't too bad. Um, let's go upgrades. Storage. Can we buy that straight away? Oh, we can actually. That's pretty good. So you can do a little bit of extra storage. Engine, you can upgrade that, that's pretty cheap. Why not, 4,000. Radar. Um, hidden locations of boats. Yeah, might as well upgrade that too. Autopilot would definitely add autopilot. Fishing quota, 300,000 to get to the next level. That's, um, ooh, that's expensive. Fish sonar. Yeah, let's add that. Why not? Uh, a buoy. So standard buoy, or we could get the buoy four, which gives us a flag and a beacon. Better see in night time, I guess. And a searchlight. Don't really need. Unless you have to rescue someone. So let's check out. 43,000. Ah, oh, a little bit of extra money out of our account. So rigging, we don't need to change. Let's go to fishing gear. I want to buy another four. Uh, let's go bait deep lines. Let's actually... We do actually have... Come out of here. Uh, yes, let's go map. Do we have somewhere that we found tuna? Down here. Okay, I don't know... 
how that's going to go. What do we got? There's another one, two, three, four, five other ports we can go to. So you could probably go and get some tuna next episode, I guess. So let's um dock in. Uh, we'll go fishing gear, bait. Bait it with herring. Um, we might go and try and get some tuna next episode, I guess. See what happens. Um, go shop. We can upgrade our hook. 8% bigger fish. Definitely do that. And a knife. 8% uh, better gut, even though we're not really gutting at the moment. And binoculars. Uh, we don't really need to buy them at the moment. A bit, bit more money out of our account. Alright, let's have a look at the bar. Any more tips? Pollock. Let's buy that for tuna from three days ago. Uh, services, we don't need any of that. Bank, can we borrow? Uh, borrow 10,000, so not really worth it. And crew. We can rest her at the crew house or we can fire her. We don't want to do either of those. Maximus stamina 3. So I wonder if that actually changes, if it should actually get better. So this guy's got heaps of stamina. It's one thing you want to look at later on, I guess, is trying to get people with big stamina. So if it's taking you a long time to get stuff done, um, their stamina is quite high, which is good. But um, right out, guys, we'll end the episode here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode, the first look at fishing North Atlantic. If you guys enjoyed it, as always, smash that like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the game so far, this first episode. If you're going to pick it up in the future or if you've already brought it, let me know. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been pretty Thanks for watching. See you again soon.